everyone, and welcome back. I'm Justin Flathers. And I'm Bailey Daniels. Justin, did you know that today is Prince's birthday? You know, I haven't listened to Prince, but I've, I've heard of him. What? Uh, I love Prince. He is just amazing. Let me tell yeah, you. Yeah, well, before Bailey gets too ahead of herself, let's talk about some other current events. The Tony Awards are airing June 11th, and the CMT Awards are airing tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, I love watching the Tonys. For those who don't know, the Tony Awards are Broadway Awards, recognizing musicals such as Dear Evan Hansen, Come From Away, and many more. I can't wait to watch them all. Don't forget to watch the Country Music Awards tonight, too. That's right. Well, we are so glad you all tuned in for today's show. We have so much in store for you today, including a trendy feature on shoes, weather with Elena, Aaron with a scoop on the Royals' incredible game last night, and quite a humorous twist on student behavior in school. This. 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 With Prince's birthday, all of these music awards should be sh being showcased. It seems like music is really trending right now. Yeah, we seem to be covering a lot of trending topics recently. You know what else is trending right now? Shoes. Companies are constantly creating new bottles of different style shoes. Let's head over to Brecken and Audrey to hear his thoughts about shoes. Hey, I'm Audrey Russell, and today I have Brecken Addison here to talk about his shoes. So, Brecken. When did you first start being interested in shoes? Uh, when I first started becoming interested in shoes was in 8th grade, uh, and it all started off with a pair of LeBron 11s, and then it, from there it just kind of grew. If you had to choose between Adidas and Air Jordans, which one? Uh, I'd choose uh, Adidas because the comfort uh, is a lot better than Jordan. Jordan's more of like a a couple hour wear shoe and then adidas you can wear all day long last question what's your favorite type of shoe uh, my favorite type of shoe is probably an adidas ultra boost uh, i like the style and the look of them uh, but i don't have any yet hopefully i will soon thanks for tuning in back to the front desk thanks guys wow that was shoe per cool yeah, you know, I got a new pair of flip-flops that I've been able to break in since we've been having this amazing weather. Let's hand it over to Elena to see what we can be expecting. Thanks, Justin. I'm Elena Gordon, and it looks like today we'll have a high of 81 degrees and a low of 56 degrees. So keep it cool and stay hydrated. Back to you, Bailey and Justin. Thanks, Elena. It is perfect weather to get a nice jog in, isn't it, Justin? Yeah, it's also ideal weather for athletics. Let's hand it over to Aaron with sports. Hi, I'm Aaron Rick, and good morning. I'm here to give you the scoop on recent sports news from our community. Looks like the Royals were losing yesterday 7-2 to in the first few in innings, but they started the comeback. With a score tied to 7-7 to in the bottom of the ninth, Mike Moose hit a two-run walk-off home run to, the win to win the game. This ended a 11-game winning streak for the Astros, Liberty Norse Ted Maxwell was at the game last night and shares his thoughts about the game. Okay. Well, I uh, got a great opportunity to go to the game last night. Uh, sat up in the uh, craft and draft uh, area up in left field with um, some of the big wigs up there. And the game didn't start off very well. Uh, I think we're down at seven to one at one point, but we stayed the whole entire game and uh, they kept fighting back, those Royals did. And in the bottom of the ninth, that two run home run moose, I mean, you just felt like they were gonna win that game as they just shut down Houston after the uh, fourth inning, I believe, and then went on to take, uh, take the victory with that big moose uh, home run. So lots of fun at the ballpark last night. Now tonight, the NBA Finals will be airing, so don't forget to check that out. Golden State and Cleveland will be playing at 8 p.m. on ABC Network. The Building Pride campaign has ended, and the construction has started on the vi stadiums. Visitors, bleachers are being constructed now. Well, that's all for the sports today. Back to you guys.
So, Bailey, what are you doing this afternoon? Well, actually, I have gym class. There are so many jocks. Jocks, huh? That reminds me. Let's check out this next feature on school stereotypes. Trigonometry. Why are you late? Um, I got lost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so 18 divided by 3. Taylor, do you know the answer for this one? I'm like, Can you come up here and tell us how to do it? Today class, we're going to be doing some simple math. We have some addition, subtraction, and more addition. All right. Okay, can everyone pull out their homework from last night? Where are you? I had practice. What kind? Now, I have definitely seen all of these people. I have also been probably those people at some point as well. <laughs> that sounds about right. Well, I think that just wraps up today's show. Thanks for watching, and we'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow, tomorrow birds. birds.